<laughs> oh yeah, that's some H2O for you right there. What's going on, good peoples? It's your boy. You already know. No, you probably don't know because I'm a fucking dweeb. Uh, Sir Nobles, and uh, we just chit chatting today. Been playing some Age. Uh, it might be a pretty decent day in the uh, Age of Empire community. Uh, Gamescom. I'm recording this August 22nd. In Gamescom, I believe in Germany. I think it. I believe Gamescom is in Germany. Don't quote me. I believe. It. I'm pretty sure it's in Germany. But uh, Gamescom is going on tomorrow, and Relic said they're going to be there, and they've been dropping a bunch of cynical tweets and i think finally finally you know everyone's got a big old arousal because i think the game actually might get an expansion like uh you know maybe as far as not even dlc maybe as far as two to three new civilizations you know a lot of people got uh, a lot of people got their speculations maybe the byzantine empire you know they're thinking vikings uh maybe you know ancient you know, uh, Japan, you know, all those were slap. you know, maybe the, you know, Ottoman Empire, the Turks, whatever, you know, whatever. Celtic Empire, I don't even know. Yeah, all, any, any of them, you know, honestly, it don't matter who it is, to tell you the truth. It, it don't matter. I just, man, just, the game is, the game is honestly probably in the best state it's been in, as far as balance-wise. You know, in the community, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's actually picking up some sales on Steam, you know, Game Pass, you know, uh, they, you know, they, you know, obviously it's free, so it's Game Pass, they can always try it out. I actually have two accounts. I have, uh, kind of like to really try to keep, you know, my stats pretty good on. Uh, uh, that's certain levels on Steam. But I got a, also a Game Pass account, which you'll probably, I'll probably, you know, play that for that one. I, I actually play that one more because I like to try new civilizations, and I really want to just try new straight, you know, new things on that account. I don't care if I lose. Uh, that one is uh, Sir Lil Wood. I think that was pretty silly. But yeah, uh, you know, today I'm just talking about. Uh, as far as, I, I'm, maybe I'm going on a little bit of a, a little bit of a tangent, not a tangent, a little bit of a, a vent, and I'm cool with that, that's why I got this account for it, because I like to vent, but I don't like talking to myself, so it feels like I'm talking to somebody, but what I got to vent about is that I think I have a pet peeve with, uh, people who, uh, aren't good at something, and they say it sucks, they're not good at it, you know, that, I think, is annoying as fuck. I'm be real because you know I realize like okay for example me there's a lot of things that I'm not good at that I'm actually trash at or maybe not even like that I can recognize is still quality like you know for example let's go with Fortnite you know me uh I was pretty buns at Fortnite like when Fortnite was big you know back when Fortnite was super trendy it's probably it's Fortnite actually I'm gonna say this. Fortnite might have made gaming cool. Like, I don't, I can't think of a game that, like, you know, thug motherfuckers are, like, making videos on and stuff. Like, that, like, people were making, like, Instagram and it was trendy. Fortnite was trendy, like, in the whole, not even game community, but all of community, social media. Anyway, that being said, I didn't really like Fortnite. I wasn't, I, I did at a point in time, but I really got over Fortnite and probably the Battle Royale genre in general. I was never really a fan of it. No, I thought when Warzone dropped, it was super great. Apex Legends, all those games were super great, but I got over them really quick. But I always, I never ever called them trash games. Like, for example, like, you know, I, I kind of got over Warzone pretty, you know, pretty quick. I actually prefer traditional Call of Duty opposed to Warzone. But I never ever got on somewhere and was like, oh, don't play Warzone. That shit is trash. That shit is garbage. Like, because Warzone wasn't garbage. It's actually a pretty quality, it's actually a quality battle royale. Same with Fortnite. You know, people count Fortnite trash, not real gaming. And, okay, that's your opinion. But, you can't admit that Fortnite has content out the wazoo. Like, Fortnite has so much goddamn content. Like, it's insane. Like, I seen a video the other day of, which is, I actually kind of get, it's kind of get a little ridiculous now with their content. But, I seen a video of Goku. Goku swinging on a web and seeing an enemy and stopping and pulling out a fucking lightsaber and killing them. Like, I was like, dude, okay. There's like so many mixed properties. It's insane. Like Goku doing a Kamehameha or Kamehameha. I don't know how you read his name, but like, you know, do a Kamehameha 
with the fucking lightsaber on his back while he's swinging on the web. Like, that's pretty insane. It's a little much, but whatever. You cannot deny the game has content, which some games honestly lack. You know, I think, like, for example, Halo Infinite. I think Halo Infinite, before I even... The game that I was on heavy multiplayer-wise, before I even touched Age of Empire, because I'm very new to Age of Empire. I'm not even a year in to RTS gaming in general. But I was heavy in a Halo. And it kind of breaks my heart because Halo... Halo might be dead. Because Halo Infinite actually wasn't a bad game, but the, it just lacked... It kind of lacked content because if you didn't buy... The Battle Pass was pretty trash. And if you didn't buy things, you look, you look bland. Like, the game was so... It went free-to-play, but that's not always a good thing. I mean, like, Fortnite's free-to-play, but Fortnite... It's almost like the content is so much of it, and it's so notorious in that community. Like, you almost, like, are pressured to buy things. It's ridiculous. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, teach their own. If you want to spend money on a game, that's fine. But, like, you know, like, I don't... Like, Halo, it's sad, but, you know, it's 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 a good game. The game is smooth. The game plays great. If you're playing at, like, you know, a good resolution with good frame rate, the game is buttery smooth. Like, it feels good to play. It feels good to be back in the Halo genre. You know, Halo's new. And, like, when it first dropped, it really, it was actually, you know, kind of, it was actually kind of like, you know, the face of gaming for a hot second. People were really comparing it to Call of Duty. Uh, it came out next to Battlefield, and Battlefield, fuck, oh, that game, that's actually really sad. Like, you, Battlefield 20, was it 2042? That's so sad, I don't know the name of it. Battlefield is out. There's a new Battlefield that dropped within a year. And, like, people are just, like, not playing it. Or, like, not talking about it. I think it got, like, a, got, like, a little DLC or expansion. People are starting back on it, which is great. I like seeing that. But it's crazy that Battlefield came out and really kind of, like, came and gone. Like, big, almost dead on arrival because of its technical problems. But bringing the conversation back around. Like, you should not say a game is bad because... You either are not good at it, or there's something in the game you do not like. So, personally to you, you're not a fan of it, but you do not, but it's not bad. Like, you kind of like, like, for example, like, let's say, okay, I'm going to use Age of Empire, because that's kind of what I'm circling around to. Like, Age of Empire, and I, I don't want to be an asshole, but I'm going to be real. I'm going to be, I'm going to actually make an objective statement objectively is not a bad game like when people say age of empire 4 is trash either i'm gonna assume you don't like rts's in general like you just don't like them or you're trash like either that either you just don't like the genre as a whole or you're trash at the game like if you're trash age of empire like me i'm not that good my rank is gold three. I'm like teetering on platinum, but actually I just got knocked down to gold three. I'm kind of like, once I get to platinum, I face somebody who just fucks me up. So I really am not really platinum because I can't progress in platinum. So like, for, but for somebody who just entered RTSs within a year, like literally never touched them ever, I'm not mad at myself even teetering, even flirting with platinum. Like that's not bad, you know? I'm not really, I'm, it's kind of an accomplishment. But with that being said, I hear everyone say, oh, Age of Empire 4, especially people who love Age of Empire 2. You fucking people like playing that damn dinosaur. That's fine. But the game is still, you know, I'm, I'm not going to shit on the community. The game is good. You know, it's a bunch of fucking, got a bunch of boomers that play Age of Empire 2 still. The game is good. I mean, the game has like 50 civilizations. That's pretty cool. But like, uh, I'm going to make a fucking controversial statement. I don't give a shit. I'm nobody in this community. Age of Empire 2 needs, like, it's cool, but it's fucking nostalgia. Like, dude, the game's been out since damn near before I was born. Like, Jesus Christ, time to move on. And Age of Empire 4 is not bad. I think what's lacking Age of Empire 4, it's probably really just content and civilizations. I mean, the game got at least 12 civilizations. I think it'll be actually a pretty good spot. It's going to be enough to expand the meta enough that, like, people would don't mind playing it some more. But you saying it's bad, it's insane to me. It's insane. Not you, person, but like anybody saying it's bad. You know, if you go on, like, I'm, you know, I'm on the Age of Empire. I'm obsessed with the game. So I'm on the Age of Empire Reddit. And occasionally, I'm taking a little sip of this water. A little sip. Oh, here we go. Ooh. And I'm going to go now. Fucking talking too much. Getting freaking cotton mouth. But yeah, I go on the Age of Empire Reddit. And like, for the most part, actually, I mean, it's like, I, it was a rumor that I was like super negative, And I was like, oh, let me see this shit. 
But really, it wasn't that negative. I mean, it was most parts people just like kind of asking advice and stuff. But you get that occasional person who'd be on there bitching, bitching because the French, the Knights. How do you beat the uh, this game's trash? Because you know the French are so OP. The French are this. The French are that. When the French are m most definitely beatable. Like, dude, yes, the French, their knights are fucking powerful. Like, dude, the knights are, like, one of the strongest units in the game. Like, their French knights are, like, I mean, knights in general are strong. But something about the French knights with all their upgrades, and they become, like, elite royal knights. Like, they become, damn, they become ridiculous. Yes, it is true. Early game feudal French. Yes. They put pressure on you, and they, they, they come in with archers, and they ram rush you. Especially if you not don't have the best micro, which I also don't have the best micro. It's you know mess micro and macro. It's hard. It's hard to maintain because you're trying to basically expand your expand your economy and your military while these motherfuckers are dropping nuts on your forehead. Like you're just trying. It's hard. It's, but that's that's the beauty of the game though. Because when I first started playing, every time I would lose to that. Every time. The moment I got pressured by French or even English back in the day when they were really heavy feudal pushers. I would always fucking lose. Like, I didn't know how to stop it. But the more you play, I start realizing, oh, okay, all right, we tack my wood line. Let me move these fucking lumber camps a little bit out of the way. Okay, now I got that situated. Like, yes, and it fucking gives you anxiety. You turn to fluster. You might want to fucking headbutt your monitor. Understandable. But really, Age of Empire, man, you just gotta, you just gotta play more. Like, which, like, that's why the game doesn't have the biggest community because the, you know, the entering the game, like, being new to the game is very intimidating. It takes a lot of time to play. Like, like it's very hard to be a casual Age of Empire player. Unless you got, like, a friend group and you just want to just, like, you know, fuck around, make little bases, and, like, y'all fight Imperial. Like, that's how, that's another way to play. But, like, if you want to actually go online and play, most likely, like, you're going to get your ass whooped, and you're going to struggle, and it's going to be frustrating. But you kind of got, like break out of that and once you break out of it you kind of start going a little bit of a win streak you gotta get a little build orders down or if you don't have build orders you start to really get your like you know start to get your high keys down and shit and start really figuring out civilizations kind of declare one as your main and you kind of got little you know secondary ones you use you know certain maps you start realizing like oh shit you know mm, that's not that bad and you know it kind of gets a little obsessive and it's really like two types of people People who play something and it's really challenging them and they kind of drop it, which nothing wrong with that. I was I was like that on Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege, played it, dude, I didn't have time to get good at it. it was, I was so fucking far out of the meta, it was nothing I could do. Uh, the, the game is, the game has set it, you know, it's, it's set its foot, it's, it's foothold. Like, it's really, it's hard to break into it, especially after years of being out. And, you know, it's almost like playing CSGO. Like, CSGO, listen, bro, if you don't play that shit on regular, you just don't hop in, you don't get your shit clapped. That community is so old and so experienced. Not old like age, which has been around for a while. But yeah, like you know, but that's too bad you just get in it and they realize it's not ready for me. Now I jump in time in and really get used to it. Good game, but I got the time to get good at it. And they fall back, you know, and that's respectable. And you got people that get in, kind of like myself, get in, are absolutely buns. And then, but like, but like, realize this game is pretty good. Shit, let me try to get good at this, and turn out in the, in the end decent, not good, decent. You know, to the point where I actually can put up a fight. Like no one's steamrolling me, unless you're like a really good player, then you are gonna steamroll me. I got a video of me getting steamrolled by like a top 200 player or 100 player, somewhere around there, and he fucked me up. There's nothing I can do about it. But yeah, but like that's kind of the beauty of it. Some people don't like that, you know, because really, Age of Empire, you gotta kind of lose a lot to start. You want to for sure lose before you get better. Like it's gonna be bad before you start getting good. Like I, I there is nobody. I don't care how fucking good of a gamer you are. I don't care if you've been gaming since you're freaking goddamn negative ten years old. Like that's not even a real age, but you're that good at gaming. You've been gaming for that long. Like you gonna hop an age of empire and it's gonna be a learning curve. Like I mean, you you probably become better at it than most people quicker, but you're not gonna hop on and dump it on people. It's just too much of a learning curve to be that. To come in there and be that good, especially not having no experience with it. But yeah, I, I don't I don't like people. You know, I'm kind of getting long winded here. I'm gonna take a little sip of this water one time. I'm gonna get a little cut up. Give me, give me, give me, Fucking delicious. But uh, yeah, man, don't don't fucking don't tell people this game's not good because you're not good at it. Because you're a fucking bronze three or a silver two, and you're like, man, fuck this game. This game's fucking dumb. 
I mean, like I said, if, it's, if you say like, oh, it's just a little too much for me, too much fucking going on for me. Not my, not a game for me, but you know, try it out. You might like it. Boom, respectable. Because you know, game time's coming up, and I want this game to survive. Because I want the esports community of it to survive. I actually, I actually fuck with the esports community part of it. Like it's actually really cool. Like it's not, it's like a shit ton of players. The top ten are like famous in the community, and they're like, and then like it's crazy. Like you know, everyone in the game playing the top one hundred, you know, don't even stand a chance. Damn it, it's like that big of a skill gap. And the top one hundred playing the top ten is even bigger of a skill gap. And like you breaking that echelon, like you. You that like top twenty you break in that little category, like it's hard for anybody to fuck with you. But uh, you know what I'm saying? The esports is nice of it. They wanna grow into esports. Shit, it would be kinda cool for it to be somewhat of like a not maybe a Microsoft flagship, but a Microsoft title, because what the fuck does Microsoft even have anymore? Halo is really it's sad, but you know, Halo made kind of was like the brand for a while, but Halo is actually kinda dying. Halo is just breaks my heart because I grew up playing Halo and hey, like literally grew up playing Halo. That was my that was my game for the longest time. But it's really it's just it, it's glory days are over. Here's war. No one knows where the fuck that's at. It's kind of like just in a float. Not having been announced or nothing. Uh, really, Forza, great game, great racing game, great graphics. Everything's great about Forza. Probably the best racing game in gaming right now. But it's a racing game. Racing game is not going to carry your brand. And most likely, it's also not going to be a RTS either. I mean, RTS is are just the barrier to entry is way too difficult for it to be like a game that can carry, like can be the brand. But you know, but it can, but it, Microsoft can have the best RTS in the game. You know, the best RTS in the genre. And I, I'm more than confident that Age of Empire 4 can be the best RTS out there. More than confident. You know, if all these fucking people, if everyone who, you know, just stop being stubborn and just, hey, try this new game out. It's the newest, it's the last, you know, it hasn't been a freaking AAA RTS game in a long time. And a lot of the community, understandably why they left, because the game at one point was in the best state. Especially my least favorite part about Age of Empire was the transition from season one to two. That shit was a really trash ass transition from seasons because literally the season ended and they were just like, all right, peace. And I was fucking gone. Everyone thought, like, when the season ended, including myself, season two was going to, like, be back-to-back. -back. At least that's what I thought. And they just, like, or at least fucking some type of window. They just was like, yeah. Yep, yeah, well, we'll talk to you when we talk to you. But I thought like they getting better at that. They get better at their communication. And I could tell that they want this game to have some type of foothold in the esports genre and have a community. They want Age of Empire to be a community. Even though RTSs are not what they used to be, as far as my research, I didn't grow up playing RTS like that, but back in the day, you know, StarCraft II, Age of Empire, all those games, they were fucking, they were like, you know, really kind of the first big competitive games, you know, before Call of Duty and shit, these games were, they were, they were, they were big, but uh, it's not like that anymore, but hey, moral of the story, just because you trash, don't mean the game is bad, just remember that, the game might not be bad. You might just be ass, and you are tired of getting your ass whooped, so now you don't like the game. Don't blame the game. Just get good. It's a get good game. I swear to God, it's annoying, but it's a get good game. Get good. If you don't get good, then you're going to keep your ass whooped. Don't, don't shit on the game, though. Shit, I got my ass whooped today. Whooped. So much today. I wasn't like, this game's fucking trash. I was like, dude, I fucking suck. And that was pretty much the truth. But yeah. Well, you know, nice minute video, rambled on, you know, put on smack on probably, you know, smack on some bullshit gameplay. We'll figure something out. We'll go through the the uh, you know, the archive and find a little some some you know what I'm saying. But yeah, it's time to hey, get good. Don't be bitch at the game. It's a good game. Bye. This is a uh, certain levels. We're gonna sign about this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Au revoir!